Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2021, continuing our Journeyman a Glory Hunter series, and we are finally in one of the big nations, one of the big five. We are in France. Uh, however, we are in League 2, uh, so uh, we do have some work cut out for us to get us into the top league there. Uh, we are playing as, uh, I think this is pronounced, I, I looked it up, this is what YouTube said, or Google search said, uh, Amiens, oh, no, no, I don't think the S is pronounced, I think it's just Amiens, Amiens, something like that. We're going to go with Amiens until further notice, uh, Amiens SC, something like that. I'm assuming that stands for some some version of soccer club, but uh, probably something in French, you know, SC, I, I, who knows what SC stands for, I'm sure, but who knows, everybody, I'm sure a lot of you guys probably know, I don't know what SC stands for, but that's okay. Uh, the point is, uh, Amiens uh, is the team we're playing for. Uh, they're actually expected to get promoted this season. That's that's the that's the expectations put on us. Although the uh, preview from the press says I think fifth or sixth, something like that. We'll look at that here in just a second. I have been fairly busy on the transfer market. Although some of the transfers I've been trying to go after have fallen through. Uh, some of our players that we had already have wanted to leave. A lot of times that happens when you get demoted down from uh, or relegated down from the league above. A lot of your players that have been there. Uh, decide that they want to move on, which is which is the case. So uh, a lot of movement back and forth. Uh, still some movement to come. Uh, I've actually already played one game just because it came so early that I just wasn't done with some of the transfers yet. I wanted to get them out of the way. So I went ahead and played that game, got it out of the way, uh, gave me a little more time to get a couple more transfers in. And so we're going to take a look at the squad here in just a moment and uh, play our first couple of games, or I guess next two games, I should say, but the first games that you guys will see. So yeah, let's just jump right into the episode here. Um, I, uh, I forgot what I was looking at on here, but, uh, here we are, uh, three-star reputation, not too bad, been around for, since 1901, that's a long time, uh, but yeah, let's go look at the transfers, uh, we still have some transfers, like I said, coming in, we have spent 18.5 million euros, excuse me, and, um, but we've also sold 13 million euros, one of them being Stephen O'Day, which was one of our, which was our star striker, but he was pretty determined to leave and so we had to we had to let him leave so it is what it is um so we'll look at those here in just a moment actually we'll go ahead and look at the transfers out real quick uh i don't know if you guys know anybody the anybody here but really the big one probably the big one was Stephen o'day i don't think i see any other anyone else that was super big um so yeah that's really the biggest one which has allowed us to bring in a few players to be fair uh we brought in nikolai which you guys are familiar with uh, he's only two and a half star current ability three star potential um uh, it's not an amazing goalkeeper but he's going to be a good backup good solid backup player uh, that we know can play very well um we then excuse me then brought in uh walim uh lagarby lagarby something like that we may have to change his name um he comes in at only a currently two and a half star ability but a potential is as high as four and a half star he actually was a little bit higher uh ability earlier but we've brought in some other players that have you know changed the kind of ability ratings around a little bit because a lot of times the ratings are related to what other players you have on the team and i think we've brought in a couple other good players so he's dropped down a little bit but he's still gonna be a decent player for us a good crossing ability attacking midfielder on the right hand side um i mean yeah didn't cost us a ton of money but you know something he's played fairly well in the past but maybe not so good the last couple seasons excuse me Sure. Here comes the yawns. It's football manager stuff. I, I don't know what to tell you guys. Um, so we brought him in. He's actually our third biggest transfer coming in. Uh, we then got Enzo Lefe, Lefe, Le, probably Lefe, maybe Enzo Lefe here from FC Lorient. Actually, relatively cheap uh, transfer fee here. Uh, he comes in at a three-star current ability, which is pretty good. Uh, three and a half star potential. Uh, decent all-around stats. Should be a good player for either attacking midfield or midfield. Technically, could also play defensive midfielder if we need to. Anywhere in this middle spot, uh, which suits us just right. Uh, we then brought in uh, Dacour, Dacour from, uh, for a fairly minimal fee. Not too bad. Uh, current 3.5 star ability. Potential 4 star ability. Obviously, based on the fee, pretty decent uh, value, I think, here. 24-year-old. Uh, so, should be a good pickup there. Biggest pickup that we have here is uh, Thierry Berard. Uh, 7.5 mil. Uh, it comes in on attacking, or sorry, defensive uh, right wing back, uh, three and a half star current ability, potential as high as four and a half star. Um, 
But his crossing's not as good as I would like, but he's decent uh, mental stats, pretty good physical stats. Excuse me. Hey, he's only 19 years old, so he could develop into some good crossing ability at some point. He can play across the back all entirely and defensive midfielder, so he's got a little bit more flexibility. We'll see what he can do. Um, maybe a little bit more money than we should have spent, but we were really lacking in that, that defensive wing back role, so we really need to get somebody in there. Uh, we then picked up Anthony Rachiop. Rachiopi, Rachiopi, Anthony here, uh, comes in as our starting goalkeeper, three and a half star current ability, four star potential ability, uh, should be pretty decent player, honestly, really decent stats all around, um, and then Arthur Pontet comes in for five mil, our second biggest one, defensive, uh, central defender, I should say, three and a half star current ability, four star potential, uh, pretty good mentals, pretty good physicals, technicals, yeah, could use a little bit of work, but honestly, he's going to be good enough for what we need him for. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, that's the ones. Um, this guy comes in from uh, FC Mets, actually, in League 2 as well. I mean, we picked him up for double what they paid, but I kind of was being getting a little bit desperate, I'll be honest, because we were starting to lose some players, or some players were starting to say that they wouldn't leave. In fact, we still got a couple players excuse me, that want to leave at the moment. I don't know what is with the yawns, guys. I don't know. Um, we have Blinn here who wants to get out of here. Uh, multiple people offering in for him. So we're going to lose him here pretty soon, unfortunately. Really, really good player for us, but he wants to leave and there's nothing we can do to stop him. Um, a couple other guys that are potentially going to be leaving soon. And like I said, a few player pool we've got potentially coming in. We've got this guy, Stephen Parks, potentially coming in on defensive left. Uh, Baugh here coming in as a potential midfielder. Uh, Heyman's coming in as attacking midfielder, hopefully. Uh, you can see some of the values here we're paying for some of these guys. 1.3 mil, 2 mil. Uh, four mil here. This is going to be a big one, but and we really need what's his name to go out if that's going to happen. Blaine needs to leave if we're going to bring Ba in to replace him. And uh, Adara comes in here, kind of play all around here up on the attacking side of things. So we'll see what he can do. Uh, I will go into more detail about what these guys are if they actually join the squad. A lot of these are still in the limbo at the moment, though. So here's the squad we're going to be bringing today. Uh, we're expected to win this game, so we're going to be being play, going very aggressive. It's a home game for us. Uh, so here's the team we have. Uh, we've got Salah here, uh, two and a half star current ability. Um, is that just because of what position he's playing in or is that really his best? That's really his best. Do we have anybody better than that? Anyway, not really. Um, obviously, that's a weakness for us. That's part of the reason why we're going after um, Parks here. Parks is going to be a pretty good pick up if we can get him but like i said we'll, we'll look at that once we actually get that fine finish uh Puntet comes in here to start right away three and a half star like i we talked about uh badger bager bagger bager i don't know how we would pronounce that bager bagger we'll call him bagger i don't know bagger vance um he comes obviously i know bagger would probably be two g's but we'll go we'll call him bagger anyway just for funds um he comes in uh two and a half star current ability maybe not the most amazing player I'd actually be a little bit better as a stopper or just as a central defender. Would you be better as a ball playing defender? It's a little bit more balanced, at least. We'll, we'll do that. Uh, Berard coming in on the right-hand side. Um, new guy that we picked up. Uh, we got Blinn in the middle. Currently playing for now. As long as we have him, we might as well take advantage of him. Uh, with Zungu playing beside him. Again, we're going to have to get used to some of these names. We'll have to learn these guys as we go. Um... Akolo on the left hand side, inverted winger. Pretty good. Three and a half star player. Excuse me. And uh Lefay. Lefay? We'll call him Lefay. Lefay, Lefay, Lefay. A E E with the um, uh ast uh accent sounds to me like Fay, like Lefay. We'll call him Lefay until further notice. Uh Tarbuck over here on the right hand side. He's actually a pretty young guy, 19 years old. Uh so we should be able to get some good stuff from him. Uh, he's actually a uh, three and a half star current ability for a 19 year old. That's really awesome. And then Leo Bonten Bonatini starts as our uh, just starting striker at the moment. We'll see if we can get another guy in at some point, but for now he comes in. Uh, we'll see what he can do. So that's our players. We'll have to learn these guys. We'll have to learn who's good, who's not. Kind of go from there. And uh, yeah, got a couple injuries. That, that's the reason why Nikolai is not on our bench, but we'll go with what we have here and see what we can do. Um, yep, looks good to me. A little bit of swapping from the last game. Oh, I should have told you. The last game, we did draw our last game 2-2. Two to two. 
It was an away game. Uh, we were actually expected to lose that game, so the draw actually is a bit of a victory for us. Uh, so that's pretty good for, for in general. I'm pretty happy with that. We actually went down two to nothing and then brought it back, got two goals in the second half. So, or actually, we got one goal right before the end of the first half and the second goal in the second half to get the draw on the away game. So overall, not a bad, not a bad thing overall. Uh, looks like, uh, who are we playing today? I actually forgot the name of the team we're playing. Uh, what's that telling us? Uh, we'll check here in a second. Oh, we should turn the, uh, sounds back on. Whoever we're playing, they are on the attack at the moment. They got the highlights. Oh, we get, did get a takeaway there from Pontet. Berard with the ball. Trying to get a really bad pass there, honestly. Really, really bad pass. Really bad strike attempt. Uh, we're playing against Dunkirk. Oh, that's right. I, I, don't, I don't know why. I, I knew it was a name that I was, I could say, but I was like, I didn't get this part. I guess that's just their abbreviation. Dunkirk today. All right, corner kick here for Dunkirk. Decent clear out from Bagger. Bager. Bagger. Bagger. I don't know. Lefay coming up the, the, the field. Actually, a pretty bad strike attempt, to be honest. Um, let's see here. Can we go here? Here. I'm just going to call you Jonas. Because... <laughs> I don't want to abuse your name any more than I already have. All right, so Jonas is in there. Uh, anybody else's name I want to change around? Pontet, Berard. I'm going to just call you Anthony. Got to keep the name simple. Uh, Anthony, Pontet, Berard, Sala, Zungu, Blinn, Tarbuck, Lafay, Akalo, and Bonatini. I think I could say all the rest of those names. All right, sounds good. All right, we've got a throw in here for Dunkirk. I almost thought we were going to get a takeaway there. He was creeping up on him. Come on, guys. Playing very attacking. So, I mean, it's definitely a good chance they can get behind us, which they just did. Thankfully, he hit the top of the the, the goal. And uh, actually, he was offsides anyway. That would explain how he was able to get behind us so easily. All right, we've got a throw in here for Sala into Akolo. Back to Sala. Over to Blin. Blin gets it taken away from him very easily, unfortunately. He's going to play like that. We definitely want to sell him on. Come on, guys. Sungu, I thought he was going to get a takeaway there. Unfortunately, not happening. We are really not getting very aggressive here, it feels like. Playing on our heels a bit more than I would like. Come on, guys. Clear this up. Guys. Like... We had so many opportunities to clear it out there and just couldn't get anything going for us. Honestly, we deserve to give up a goal there based on how badly the team was playing. I mean, look at all these opportunities. We got in the way of so many of these. So many opportunities to do something with it. Hey, why's your name changed in tick? Anthony. Over to Blinn. Blinn with the ball. Over to Zungu. Zungu kicking up to Tarbuck on the right-hand side. Come on, Tarbuck. Show me what you got, buddy. He's going to get it back to Zungu. Zungu up to Lefay. Lefay over to Tarbuck. Tarbuck over to Berard on the right-hand side. He's going to get a good cross in. Hopefully he is going to get over to Tarbuck. Tarbuck, what's he going to do with it? He's going to somehow get it into the goal. I don't know how that happened. It looked like he deflected it off of the goalkeeper or something. Uh, I mean, yeah, the goalkeeper tried to stop it. It ended up just deflecting into the goal itself. So almost a, probably an own goal, to be honest, but we'll take it. All right, there we go. Um... I'm actually not happy, to be honest, so I'm okay with saying that. The team seems a little bit motivated. Currently in the 11th spot with the two draws. Hopefully we can get a win here and get moved up a little bit. Uh, there's a 
Goal kick for Dunkirk. Barrage able to pick that one up. Zungu with the ball over to Tarbuk to Lafay. Back to Zungu. Over to Barrage on the right hand side. Barrage is going to get it over to Tar Tarbuk. Oh, penalty. Tarbuk gets tripped up there. Good penalty. Who's taking the goal or the penalty shot here? I didn't see who it was. We'll see in a second. Bonatini. Good strike from Bonatini there. Good stuff. It's a way to earn you a spot on this team, buddy. I mean, I know it's just a penalty shot, but the goal's a goal, right? And we are up 2-1. to one. Does move us up to the fifth spot, which is good. Akola with the ball. Pushing it up. Getting past his man pretty easily there. He's going to go try to do it all himself. Now, that was not a very good strike attempt, but it was on target. So, I'm giving him credit for something here. I actually don't know how many substitutes we get. I should have looked that up. Uh, Lefay is really tired right now. We're bringing Godos in here, who also wants to leave, apparently. And I'll go with that for now. I think we only get three subs. We'll try, we'll try four just to see, because you never know. All right, Dunkirk with the goal kick. Salah is able to get in front of that one, or get his head on that one. Akala with the ball. Push it up. Is he going to do it again here? Uh, is he going to try and do first strike again? No, he's not. He's going to pass it off to Tarbuck here. Tarbuck. Going to get it back to Berard over here. He's got lots of space to, to work with. Akala with the strike here. Strike from three different players today. It's pretty, feeling pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty good strike there. Just kicking it out of midair. Gotta love it. All right, we should do another sub here. Um, honestly, I don't know who I want to sub out right now. I may hold up to see if anybody else gets a little more fatigued first. And if the team's playing well, I don't want to mess with it. Actually, I'll probably sub out Zungu after this highlight. He's been pretty neutral today. Come on, guys. Get in front of this one. Alright, there's Berard, Zungu, Berard. Up to Zungu, over to Tarbuck. Pushing up wall pretty nicely there. There's some good moves. Gets it over to Blin. Blin to Godos. Up to Blin. Back to Zungu. Pontet. Come on, guys. What you can doing with it? There's Berard again. Is he going to get another chance to get a good cross in here? He gets past his man. It's moving. It makes pretty good moves himself. Tarbuck's there. Another goal for Tarbuck. I like to see where this is going, guys. Come on. Keep it up. Pretty decent header. Just right there in the top corner there. All right, let's go ahead and sub out. Uh, we'll sub out Zangu. Hasn't been playing amazing. Dukur. Um, and I kind of want to see if we how many subs we can do, to be honest. So we'll sub out. Sub out Solid. Do anybody playing playing for him? No, we don't actually. Blin. Bring you on. Bring a call off. I don't want him to get another car, yellow card. Okay, so we can only make three. So that's fair. Okay, we'll do the three, which makes sense. I assumed we could only do three, but I didn't know for sure. I wanted to check. All right, we got a, another highlight here right at the very end of the game. Oh, I should have brought, dropped back a little bit. We'll go and drop back now, but it's... Kind of a little bit irrelevant at this point. Oh, last late game goal we gave up there. I mean, if nothing else, that hurt some of our goal diff, which you never know when that could come in critical. It's always sad to give up late goals like that.
Especially when I was probably at least partially at fault for getting to uh, change the mentality a bit more. That's all right. Uh, we are still currently in, what was that, fourth place it looks like? I mean, we were really dominant that game. And I'd really just given something up there and there. It's been unfortunate, but you know, not the end of the world. We'll take it. Yep, fourth place right now. So currently in the playoffs, I mean, still two, only two games in, obviously, but you got to love uh, being where you're supposed to be uh, with all, you know, early in the season. So we'll see if we can keep that up. And that felt pretty good. I felt like the team was 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 showing up pretty well, um, doing what they needed to do. All right. Well, we'll be right back for the next game, which is going to be an away game against Le Mans. Um, currently fifth, so the team right behind us. Probably going to be a little bit of a tougher game. Like I said, we did play Dijon earlier. Uh, I did not show that game just because it was so early. I uh, just wasn't quite done with all the transfers. In fact, Tony Picard here, I don't even think. Yeah, he's on loan away from us. So he, he got one of the guys that got a score isn't even with us anymore. And the other guy that got a score. I was an own goal from, from the other team. So we got a little bit lucky there. So, All right. Uh, yeah, like I said, we'll be right back for Le Mans. All right, so we're back for our game against uh, Le Mans here. Uh, we did get one transfer that went through. Uh, actually, I think two transfers technically, one in and one out. Uh, we had a transfer for Parks coming in, 5.25 uh, mil. He comes in as our probably our starting left uh, wing back. Three-star current ability, as much as five-star potential ability. 20 years old from England. Um, should be pretty decent pickup. Not the greatest crossing ability, to be fair. But hopefully he can improve on that. Uh, some of his other stats are actually looking pretty solid overall. We also had uh, Jonas has actually left. Uh, at Pratt, we name him. He leaves going out to Ace Ajaccio uh, for 1.2 mil. Not a lot, but more than what he was valued at. 28 years old. Um, yeah, that's fine. I mean, he was he was already kind of on the way out the door anyway. So getting a bit of money for him felt all right. And then Godos, Godos uh, as I mentioned, I think I did tell you he was going to be leaving as well. He is out, 30 years old. Uh, for a really good player, don't get me wrong, but he wanted to leave. So we actually at least, at least got potentially as much as 5 mil for him, uh, which we're almost breaking even here. So that's helping things out quite a bit. Uh, still trying to get a couple more players coming in, uh, but the team, you know, starting to shape up a little bit here uh, with uh, Berard on the right, Parks on the left. Hopefully we get something good going for us here. Uh, Parks apparently would rather be a fullback, rather be a fullback on defense, but we'll see if we can train him to be a little more of a supporting nature. All right, so here's the team we're bringing. We're got Parks, Ponte, Mendez, and Barad across the back. Uh, Blin and Zungu in the middle. Again, Blin is still kind of on his way out as well. So at some point, we hope for the web somebody else in that plot spot. A couple of the, the other transfers that I was looking at did fall through, so we are not going to be picking up those guys, unfortunately. Uh, so we still got to go back and keep hunting for some replacements for the midfield, for Blin especially, uh, and some of the other key spots. Uh, Akolo on the left, Lefay in the middle, and Tarbuck on the right. And Bonatini is our starting striker yet again. So we'll see if we can keep up the good work from these guys. Playing a little bit more positive instead of full-on attack this time since it is an away game. But we are expected to win this game, I think, if I looked at it right. Carry on where you left off. A little bit of motivation. I'd like to see that. Come on, guys. This is, this, we're supposed to be dominating this league. Well, maybe not dominating, but doing really well. Shake off that first, first game draw and start going on a bit of a streak here, guys. Or just be very boring for a bit. All right. Well, that was a very boring first half. Um, I'm assuming when the coach says we've been the better team, we have been the better team. I mean, barely. But I guess we have. Uh, here's our first highlight of the game. Lefay with the ball over to Blinn. Blinn pushing it over to Akolo. Akolo is going to get inside the penalty area. What's he going to do with it? Can get it back over to Tarbucks. Tarbuck, I should say. Uh, Cliff Tarbuck really showing what he's got 
Uh, there's several teams that came and wanted him on loan, and I, I took him off the loan list because apparently he was loan listed. Uh, he comes in as our best attacking uh, right back or attacking uh, midfielder on the right, I should say, and uh, playing really well right now. So I don't think loan is in his future anytime soon. All right, let's go ahead and do a first sub of the game. Looks like Bonatini having a little bit of a down game. Do we have another striker to come on? We do not the most amazing striker, but we'll we'll bring him on, give him a chance. It's, it's really our weakness right now. We really need to get some some other strikers in here. Really feeling like that is our biggest weakness at the moment. Um, don't really like the yellow card here, so we'll go ahead and swap you out. Dakura can come in. Go ahead and drop back a little bit more balance at this point. All right, last sub of the game. Looks like Tarbuck is, as good as he is, a bit tired. Let's bring somebody else on. Hopefully we can hold on here with not playing our best attacking side of things, but... Oh, wrong button. I want to go a bit more cautious here at the very end of the game here. Not the most exciting win, but we'll take it. A win is a win. Especially on a away game. I'm happy with that. Not our most flattering victory, but they all count. Still work to be done. I, I couldn't have said it better, to be honest. That's exactly what I was thinking. All right. Well, we are in third place now. Uh, I mean, the two teams ahead of us have, got all, have won all three of their first games, but... We're not too far behind, so feeling pretty good about things so far. Again, really early in the game, but really early in the season, so we'll see what we can do. Uh, Bandinelli. Who was, oh, this is what, yeah, this is the midfielder that I was trying to get to replace. Um, um, whatever his name is. Goodness, I can't remember his name all of a sudden. Blinn, sorry. There we go. Uh, trying to get him to replace Blinn. Uh, it looks like he might be a decent player. Current three and a half star potential, you know, maybe as much as four star. Uh, some decent stats. We don't know exactly who he is yet. We're, we're having to rush this a little bit. Normally, I'd like to do a little bit more scouting up front or do some more trialing and things like that. We're having to rush it a little bit just because uh, we know that the, um, the transfer window is coming up here in a couple weeks. So we're just trying to get a good team in here, not lose any games that we could have won if we had gotten the players in sooner. Taking a few chances, but I'm trying to be smart-ish about the chances where we're taking them. Um but uh, this player looks like he could come in and be a pretty decent player for us. So we'll do the negotiations with that here in just a moment. Um, Parks makes his debut. And we'll do the press conference as well. All right. Well, that's going to be it for uh, us for now. We will come back here, I guess, in September. How many how many months do they these guys play? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten total months. Uh, plus the transfer special. That's 11 episodes. I might have to like skip a month here or there somewhere. I'm not sure. We'll have, we'll have to see how it plays out. But 11 episodes. I, I kind of want to limit the number of episodes I have per season to 10 if at all possible. Um, otherwise, I just won't have time to get all of the 25 seasons that we need to get in in place. But uh, So we'll figure it out. But for now, we will come back. I kind of want to come back relatively quickly. Because I think we'll have more development from our team here. Uh, what do we got here? We got FCSM. We have FC Mets, sixth place, and Tulu. Uh, we'll, we'll come back for probably the FC Mets and the Tulu. Uh, Toulouse? Tulu? Probably Tulu. I don't know. Uh, games uh, here at the end of September. So that gives us three games worth. A uh, decent amount of time to get some more transfers in. And we'll see where we're at. So I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.